Welcome to the Rev and Evan channel. We're out here at the NMCA World Finals at the iconic Indy. I love this track. I've raced here many times. And this is Craig Hayda. I love Mavericks. I know you guys do too. So we found an awesome Maverick. Craig, you haven't run the car in a couple years. So when I found out you were going to be here, I was like, we got to get this thing on video. Small block Ford, manual transmission, high RPM, all motor, all the good stuff. Craig, tell us about your car. Well, it was my first car. I purchased this car in 79. It was my high school car. Six-cylinder, 200cc, or a cubic inch, uh, three on the tree, AM radio, that's it. It was a three on the tree? Three on the tree. No way. Oh, yeah. Uh, then the it just started from there. You know, it just took off. It's been through so much. And uh, my first V8 was uh, started, ra it went to the racetrack in 1985 and has been on the street. Okay. So I, I started with it, went with a 289 top loader and... It just kept progressing, and I uh, went to the Cleveland route. And, right. then, uh, and then, of course, certifications got came into the game and then uh, updated with chassis and uh, roll bars and chrome molly. And, and you buy your own welder, and you start doing it, your own, doing it yourself and having fun. You know, it's really part, that's part of the fun, too. Yep, so when you first put the, uh, the small block in it, did you have a four-speed, or you raced it with the three-speed at that point? Four-speed. I never had it on the track with an automatic. I mean... I had an, a C4 once for a couple of months. And right. Tried to drive it on the street, and now with an 8-inch converter, that wasn't going to work. And I just love the stick thing. So it's, we've been a stick the whole time. Well, I think everybody on the channel loves the stick, loves the high RPM. So the car is set up right now for Dart NA105. So that means all motor. You can run a different type of induction uh, based on weight, right? Yes. And then, obviously, this thing is in a Maverick with a manual five-speed transmission. So tell us yeah. about the current combination. Wait, hang on. Testo North America is the world's largest manufacturer of handheld test and measurement instrumentation and software for HVAC, food safety, pharma compliance, and combustion analysis. And you can check out Testo at testo.com. It is a Dart uh, A2 deck block, uh, CFE uh, Pro King inline valve heads. Uh, it's got a CID single intake. Uh, it's a big one um, and a uh, Bolas type carburetor on it. Um, Liberty 5 speed. Uh, uh, it's got a billet ram clutch, twin disc clutch in it. But basically everything you kind of need to have to be competitive in the category that I'm running. So who does your motors? Uh, currently it's BES. Um, uh, Chris Yarachko did do the design on this motor originally. And then I have uh, got a new short block put together, and now it, Tony did at BES. Uh, and this deals cubic inch to weight, right? Yeah, so right currently right now it is a 388 cubic inch motor. Might be the smallest in the class, but uh, um, that's an area. It used to be, a, it actually used to be 415 cubic inch, so we went down to take some stroke out of it and small, uh, strengthen the block. We were trying to swing a big arm and everything in a tiny short deck, and right. we thought, uh, let's lengthen the rod and kind of help it out a little bit. Yeah, because so you're still running the A2 deck, you said? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing about The Pro King inline head is uh, really a, a high, super high port head, and then when you put on A-Tech, A2 deck is where it really works and fits well. Because oh, nice. the ports are so straight up and down, you bring the deck shorter, and then the intake is tall and straight up and down. So really, uh, it's proven it's, you know, it makes 1,050 horsepower. Wow. You know, so at 388 cubic inch. So um, it's, uh, it works good, and we're, we're going to keep picking at it and have fun with it. Yeah, that's the whole name of the game. Come out here, let the clutch out, enjoy. And every time we do one of these videos where we have one of these radical small block Fords that rev real high, I always forget to ask certain questions. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions that people I know they're going to want the answers to. How much compression ratio does this thing have? And then how big is the cam? Okay. Huge. Okay, the, um, uh, the camshaft is a, a 1,090 lift on the intake. One, I mean, one inch, 90 on the intake, and it's about 920 or so on the exhaust. Uh, what was the other question? Compression ratio. Compression ratio is 16 to 1. <laughs> it's, it is hard to go higher with this little motor like this, right. but it does have a 30cc chamber only in it. It's got a little dome on the piston, uh, so we're getting as much as compression we can get out of it. How high you buzz it? Uh, it's 10 to we'll go, but... Uh, it, it, we try not to go that high, but it revs so fast through the gearbox that it's it's you got you got to keep up with it. So we like to be just under ten if we can. 
So tell us a little bit. You said this is your high school car. Correct. So, I mean, like, did you take... I know you're married, so... And your wife is here. Yes. Like, did you take her out on dates in this car? Yeah, that's how... Uh, I was cruising the local strip in our town, and uh, she was out driving, too, in her Chevy Nova, and I had the Maverick, and that's just where... Ah. And then... And then... Uh, then uh, we just actually, yeah, start dating in the car, and... <laughs> And then, uh, so that would have been an 82. So, right. And then I eventually, shortly after that, that's when I started stuffing V8s in it. So, and then in 1985 was when it became a full-time drag car. You remember the first time you took it to the track? Yes. What a yep. run. 1241. Nice. And yeah. So it had, some guys out there will remember this, but it had crane fireball heads on it. Oh, wow. Okay, and I sold them at a swap meet, and I wish I had kept them. Oh, you I know s- what those would be worth oh, right my now? God. Yeah. You never find yeah. those things. And I don't know if anybody knows about them, but they did them for Ford and Chevys, and the ports were so unique, and just almost ahead of the time back then, it's hogging them out so much. But I still have the short block, actually. It had HP 289 rods in it, and just uh, those crane fireball heads, and uh, yeah, it would go... Uh, with the top loader, it'd go 1241 as quick as it went. That's crazy. So what are some of the challenges of running uh, NA 10.5? Uh, everything, kind of, because the category's tough, and the group is, everybody, a lot of guys are within a tenth. So you're, um, you, get, you upload, you take data off your car, you got recorders on it and stuff, so you're t- taking in information, and you're just trying to get your tune up, and uh, your clutch setup, manage your drive shaft speed, and everything that you got to get quick from a dead stop. That's what really what it is, is, from a dead stop to get it rolling, you know. And Yeah, with the stick and the small motor. What um, What's a typical 60 foot when you get that clutch right and you get the good wheel speed? Low one teen, so a 112, a, one, a 112 to a 115 would be, if you could do that consistency, that'd be great. Right, and what's the car weigh? Uh, currently at this cubic inch, it is 26.35. Nice. What is the absolute quickest this car's run a quarter mile? Uh, 7.89 at 177. Ooh. That is that is cooking. Yeah. yeah. This is Stacy right here, is his wife. Hello. Got the Zeus fasteners that take the hood off. It's got that aero style hood scoop that's pretty sweet. Craig, what uh you running a Liberty 5 speed? Yes. And what clutch? Uh it's a RAM 8-inch dual disc. It's a two-guy thing. No. Look at that. Maverick. There's that beautiful small block. Oh man. 
Wow. Do you want to pull this? Yeah, if we could pull the scoop off, because I know most of the Rev and Evan fans are engine fans. They want to see that high compression small block. There's, to me, there's just something cool about an A2 deck motor, because it's just so small. And they fit really nice in race cars. They package nice. And then the way that you could see those custom headers. Who built your headers for you, I man? I did. I did that. You built your own headers? Yeah. I, you know, wow. When I was a young guy, I only way I could afford to do it, I figured I'd better buy my own welder. And it just... <laughs> Yeah. So tell us about that split intake manifold, because that, yeah. you, check this out right here, it's, it's a split intake, so yep. it comes apart in half, Yeah. and it's they cast. Do, yeah, it's a cast manifold, they do that so you can split it and port it and whatever, but also you can machine it here and machine it here to get to fit your 8-2 deck. Oh, uh, okay. So, see, that's, Show us that again in here. Yeah, so that where you split it here, you can machine this here and then machine the flanges to get it to fit a shorter deck. And you can see, if you, if you look right here, when he says a high port, the port is moved up high on the head versus being down here. Yeah, being Normally down the port on the deck. would be way down on the yeah. deck over here. Yeah. So by raising the port up, you get a straighter shot of yeah. air down into the cylinder by yeah. raising the port up. That's more of a yeah. modern design. You can see the, the line. Yeah I, can, yeah, I can see some razor burn in here. <laughs> oh yeah. I thought the port was more in the center area. Yeah. And you got a freeze out plug where the uh, distributor would go because you're running right. a Jessel belt drive. Yes. Right there. And this beautiful billet tray right here. Look at that, man. Did you make that too? Uh, Chris Urasco designed that and added uh, billet design. Yes, it is a wet sump. They used to have a penalty. If you went to a dry sump, they would 5% per cubic inch. Right. Uh, but they took it off. But uh, I've kept it a web sump, sump for now. I, a lot of guys. So it's you can weight. run a dry sump? Right, you can run a dry sump. With but a you're weight add, penalty? Yeah, yes, no, no weight penalty, but you're adding some weight in areas, and some guys uh, don't really want to go that route with the weight because you, you gain so much on the nose. Right, so tell us about uh, this carburetor. It's a billet carburetor. Yeah, it's a Mark Whitener um, Lightning carburetor. Uh, it's basically a Bolaz deal, and uh, the Mark knows how to dial them in real good for you to get them to run pretty darn good right out of the box. Right. So you got you run a, a, a water pump up here, the Missouri water pump. Yeah. It's all built in. Oil filter. Yep. Everything. And, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, but the yeah the the Missouri radiator has a built-in pump with it, so just you don't have you can get to the access engine if you got to pull the engine. Uh, it just simplifies things, dropping hoses, getting everything out of there. Right, and one of the things I'll point out, let me come around over here, is weight, ballast and weight, right? So getting mm -hmm. getting the balance on the car right is critical, right? Yep, yep. Uh, you know, your torsional, your torque of your engine wants to flip the car over t on the right side a lot. So sometimes you're just battling with left side nose. Okay. So you, you, maybe you're playing with these corners here to help you out, you know? Um, right. Um, so we like to we like to shift weight sometimes other than just managing just the clutch or something else. We moving weight's critical. Right now, being being an early '70s Maverick, not the most aerodynamic car in the class. No. So I see you fabricated yeah. your own aluminum. I'm trying to grill. block stuff off. Right. And then I know another question that you guys will have is this black piece up front, yes. which I can explain for you. So because a, a modern car in the class like some of the, you'll see in the, in the class you can run like a new Corvette style. Those cars, the nose sticks way out. This is a shorter car. So as you know, when you stage, you're staging with your front tires. But when you get to the finish line, the nose of the car in a lot of cases, especially a lowered car, the front part of the nose is actually what takes the beam. So NHRA, NMCA, a lot of organizations allow you to add this piece. So this is what trips the finish line because the car is so short. That way you don't give anything up to the newer body style cars. That's what this is for. And then beautiful, you got you got brake man brakes on there? Uh, yeah, yep. Yep, you could see the scalloped out rotors. I mean, that that's just a cool setup, weld wheels. That is just a really sweet setup. You want me to pull the valve cover? Oh yeah, if you want, yeah. You can see the rocker gear is pretty bad. Yeah, let's do it. That's a pretty awesome setup right there. The single piston caliper, free float and everything, super lightweight. 
We're gonna take a valve cover off and show you guys a little bit of the engine that we normally don't even show people. But we're gonna dig into this little small block Ford. It's gonna be pretty cool. Craig zipping it off. Just hold on to it. Oops. So check out that so trick push rod and roller rocker setup. Craig, tell us what's going uh, on in there. It's steel Jessel rocker arms, um, titanium valves, uh, PSI springs and titanium retainers. Um, yeah, hollow stem valves on the intake. So it's you got everything you need to to survive 10,000 RPMs. You're just trying to survive 10,000 RPMs. And so things need to be rigid and things need to be light. And I mean, what's again, what's so impressive is an inline valve head where some guys have a candid valve head, right? Right. In the class? Yeah, and then, then, then that's a penalty for that because those heads will breathe more. They, uh, they'll they make easy, more power easy at the same cubic inch. So uh, they got the class uh, balanced pretty good, I think. Um, yeah. That is, that is fantastic. Let's take a peek in the car because everybody wants to see the five-speed shifter and kind of what you do in there. Check this out. So super lightweight doors. Craig's going to climb in there for us. You see he's got the 750 cage, that big Liberty five-speed manual shifter, and all those rods. So Craig, take us, take us through a run, man. Show us what you do in the car. Uh, you, when you roll into the water box, we start the burnout in third gear. So we roll in and we uh, uh, get it in third gear and I'll, I'll set the tack. I'll record also, I have a race pack data, but I like to back it up with the tack uh, since I've always had it in the car. So we'll start the burnout, bring the RPMs up about 6,000 RPMs to get the clutch in a little bit. And uh, uh, this holds the front brakes, roll the gears in fourth, fifth, let off the line lock and the car will go towards the starting line. And then uh, this here lever here is for reverse, so if you go out past the starting line, you can back up. And then uh, uh, then staging the car is basically the same, but you just go to low gear. And then uh, we'll, put a, we'll put about a 200 pounds in the line lock and set it here in the front brakes only, and then uh, bump into the beams. Stacy will bring me into the beams within a couple inches, and then uh, we bump into the beams, and then I'm holding my thumb down, and then when I get all the way into both beams, clutch pedal goes to the floor, my thumb goes off, my clutch pedal holds the rev limiter and the line lock also, so then I mat it, and we run off a pro tree, a 4 tenths pro tree, and then uh, we see amber, bam, gone, and then uh, I, o I start out with an open hand so I don't grab too quick for second, and you just start watching the shift light, pointing right in your face, and you roll it to high, uh, fifth gear, and uh, and then as you're uh, getting to the finish line, uh, you've got your parachute right here and we uh, throw that. And then uh, you're just trying to, then you take in the speed. Then you realize 177, that's when you're slowing down, that's when you realize you're really going fast. Man, that's awesome. It's gotta be a fun ride revving out like that, listening to that small block. I know it sounds so cool from outside the car and uh, I appreciate you letting us put our camera in the car so we could take the Rev and Evan fans down the track with you. Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, I've seen the show. I think you do a great job and uh, I think it's uh, pretty cool you feature my car in it too. At this gorgeous 72 Maverick. I mean, he's got the factory gas cap on here and stuff. And the namesake of the class, Dart NA105, it's called that because you got to run a 10.5 inch wide tire. Correct, yep. Uh, that's, that's one of the, that's, that's the, actually the equalizer in the class, that 10.5 tire. So you got guys with got big blocks and then they weigh more, and, but then they have to manage that power. Right. They have to manage that power, that 10.5 tire. So sometimes the big horsepower don't win the race because you really got to watch what you do with that tire. And everybody in the class will say they, they love the tire. Tire oh, works yeah. great, tire works great, but you just got to work your balance and clutch manage or torque converter manage and uh, to get down the track. 
Oh, oh man, when, I'll tell you, you watch this class, you watch these cars from behind, and you watch them go down the track, nobody goes dead straight. You guys are <laughs> ripping gears, it's always turning the tire a little <laughs> yeah. bit, they move around, it's got to be like just such an adrenaline rush to drive this car. Yeah, things happen so fast, you definitely have to be ahead of the game, you know, it's so, many, so much competition is just mental, and being prepared, and, and a lot of laps will help, and I've been doing it for uh, since like 1985, so... It gets to be a routine, but you just, you got to be on your game or, you know, bad things can happen too, so. Oh, yeah. Where are you from, Craig? Uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, not far from the Mississippi. Oh, okay. We've been out that way. It's a beautiful area. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we've been there my whole life, and uh, uh, it's been good to us, so uh, we're happy. And we're glad to build. And NMCA is not too far for us to travel, and uh, we love hitting the road and hitting all the NMCA races. So what do you do for a living, Craig? Uh, I'm a property investor. I own property in Cedar Rapids, and... Uh, uh, renovate places and uh, and rent stuff. So ah, that's a nice way to make a living. Yeah, yeah, it can be. And you got a bitchin' car. We love this <laughs> thing. I love when you come out and race, man. Because a, I like the Fords, and I like uh, you know the small block Fords even better because they're near and dear to my heart. Because that's what I always race. Nothing at this level, mm -hmm. but I always have fun talking to the competitors. But also, we did a video on Leonard Long. Also runs yes. a small block Ford and builds a lot of transmissions and. Does yep. all kinds of stuff. He's multi-time champion. Oh yeah, yeah. Leonard is uh, he's uh, he's the guy of the class. I uh, hope he sticks around forever, of course. But uh, he he's a helping hand to everybody. Anybody that comes in the class new. The first race I ever went to, like five years ago in Bradenton, he come in my trailer's laptop showing me data. You know, and he does yeah, that he's for good he, like that. yeah he does that for everybody and uh, uh, you, everybody just loves him. That's cool, man. Well, Craig, thank you so yes. much. Thanks, Evan. We appreciate you giving us an inside look. Yeah. At the awesome Maverick, I know you guys are going to love this one. I'm excited to put it together. We got a special camera in today. I got to throw a shout out to my man Jake Busey on camera today. Abe couldn't make it. There's Jake right there. We appreciate him hanging out at the NMCA yeah. race. We're having a great time. It's the World Finals. And as always, thank you guys for watching the Rev and Evan channel. Have yourself a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave us a comment. We love you.